at the Capitol with Senator Harry Coates. Senator Coates, we had some special guests on the floor today, I noticed. We do. We have uh, Coach Stoops and, and the OU football team, and uh, they're down there now. They're going into the uh, Senate Lounge for a reception, and uh, so I thought this is a good opportunity to come up here. But, yeah, it's a great, great day for us to have them on the floor. And talk some real business. But, of mm -hmm. course, my heart is with high school sports. Mm -hmm. And what about those high school kids? I noticed they're getting recognized for a, a Fiesta Bowl victory and – what about our high schools, uh, Senator mm -hmm. Coates? What if one of our high schools takes state? I tell you what, if, if we have a team that, that wins state championship, I'm personally inviting them to the, <laughs> to the floor of the Senate to be recognized. That's, that's a big deal for us. And, you know, that goes for the cheerleaders, the band. You get a state title and, sure. and take Senator Coates up on that. You that's quite it. an honor. It is an honor. It is an honor. And, and we don't have all that many guests get to come on the floor. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, if that... If if that happens again in the near future, uh, certainly, and we've we've had several up here already, and uh, it's it's a fun deal. It is a fun deal, and it'd be great to be a part of some business that's going on mm -hmm. now. Some really interesting business from the standpoint of workers with the mm -hmm. state in Oklahoma, for better or for worse, mm -hmm. is 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 known for immigration and immigration issues. Talk a little bit about what's going on. Well, it appears that uh, the legislature is going to revisit uh, immigration reform. Uh, as we did uh, a couple of years ago in, in House Bill 1804. Um, the, uh, we had a joint committee meeting, uh, joint, or joint uh, legislative meeting yesterday. Members of the sen Senate, members of the House met uh, down in um, 411A. And uh, to discuss uh, what, what more needs to be done, if anything, with regard to immigration reform. And of course, there's, there are views on both sides uh, that you know, we've already gone too far. And then the other side says we haven't gone far enough. Um, it, it appears that uh, more than having an immigration problem, or rather than having a, a huge uh, illegal immigrant problem, what we have, and in, in visiting with the uh, the director of, uh, of the drug enforcement here in Oklahoma, uh, we have a drug problem. It's uh, uh, it, it's not, and it, it crosses all all boundaries. And uh, uh, sometimes the immigrants get uh, tagged with well. Um, Maybe that's the reason we have so many illegal drugs here here in Oklahoma. If there weren't users, those drugs wouldn't be coming here. And uh, as I mentioned, that that cuts through uh, all all layers of society, and uh, it's unfortunate. So, it, what I came away from the from the meeting uh, having a better understanding of is is we need to to really uh, ramp up uh, the war on war on drugs, and uh, the other issues uh, may take care of themselves. So. In my ignorance, just hearing what you're talking about, what's transpiring now is maybe less of a focus on workers in our area um, that are here illegally um, and more on the aspect of uh, battling the drug mm -hmm. problem. Well, I, th I think that the two issues get, get intermingled and, and, oh, okay. and, and tangled together uh, in that uh, the drug trade seems, seems to be more prevalent in the poorer neighborhoods and in, in the poorer uh, levels of society. Uh, and so the two get viewed as, as one issue, but they're really not. Uh, we have to have a willing workforce uh, in order to complete contracts here in Oklahoma. And, and if uh, one of the... Uh, issues that came came uh, out yesterday is, is, is not that uh, Americans aren't willing uh, to do any job. I believe they are, but in many cases, uh, the American worker has graduated to another level and, and maybe has become more educated, more sophisticated, and and can make make a living doing something else. So why would a person uh, that has a, uh, a degree in business want to go back to digging a, a ditch when they can work, uh, let's say, work uh, in in a you know, shirt and a tie, mm -hmm. rather than doing those jobs. So, uh, uh, and we had uh, Rod Moselle was here. He's he's a big agriculturalist. He provides a lot of the uh, plants for commercial farming and and seeds and what have you. And uh, he is very conservative. I mean, he's a conservative Republican. But uh, the points he made were that much of our farming industry has left the state, especially the vine vine growers, vine crops uh, such as uh, melons and 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 maybe some some of the other uh, products that. You, there is not a machine to pick up the, uh, pick up the those fruits and right. vegetables and things, right. and it has to be done manually. And as a result of uh, 1804, that was passed a couple of years ago. He said his industry has has left left the state and and uh, uh, left uh, 
some some farmers uh, just leaving their their land idle rather than uh, uh, producing any products. Well, and Senator Coates, first of all, thank you for talking candidly because it's not often that we can hear um, from our legislators so straightforward, especially in a forum like this, that what what I understand is a very tough issue in the sense of really the um, the lower middle class and the lower class is getting blamed for mm -hmm. an issue that shouldn't be attached to them at all. It's a whole totally different issue, and they need to stay separated. Uh, that's that's true. Uh, there are two different two different issues, and uh, um, I just think we we need to stay focused. And it's very complicated. It's, it's not a simple issue. And uh, anyone who would think that you know we just anyone that's that's not here legally uh, just run them out of the country uh, when it involves families that they have here who are here legally, uh, chances are those families are going to leave too if the environment becomes so unfriendly. And uh, I have many. Uh, people in my district that they think, look, it's cut and dried. It's, it's either it's black or white. Mm -hmm. It's not black or white. It's, uh, we have some other, other issues to uh, consider when we're dealing with immigration problems. I, I, I think what we need to have more than anything else is a, a guest worker program where these workers can come out of hiding. Uh, they, can, they can go to whatever location and, and, and get the, the right paperwork and be accounted for pay their taxes like everybody else and and be able to be tracked you know the, the argument has always been well the the illegal alien needs to go back uh, wherever they came from and stand in line with the people who are willing to to go through the necessary steps to be here legally there is no line to stand in there is no line to stand in and so that that argument has to go away but there has to be a way to track these individuals that are, that are here and and be able to make them taxpayers not tax users and those who are here committing crimes, they need to be punished and sent back to the country of origin and to never return. So a very tough issue, and again, mm -hmm. it's not an easy one to talk about, uh, especially in media like this. In uh, uh, Senator Coates, we've always found you open on the issues, and we really appreciate that. Well, I try to be, and, and uh, you know, we struggle with a lot of different things up here. Uh, but uh, this is one issue that's not going to go away quietly, and we will. I think there were 20 bills filed uh, this session having to do with immigration reform. Well, we'll keep a close eye on that, and hopefully uh, as we return, as they develop, you'll help us uh, gain a, a deeper understanding to a very complicated issue. Thanks. Well, I'll try to keep you advised as, <laughs> as we go through the process. Thank you for being here. And always, always, constituents, mm. call, email your opinions. If you see Harry uh, mm. on the streets, you talk bet. to you. You bet. Give me, uh, talk to me. Tell me what's on your mind. Thanks, Harry. Thanks for being here.